The most ancient clowns have been found in the 5th dynasty of Egypt around 2400 BC. And today we're bringing clowns to nomad sculpt. This is part 1, where we are discussing and sculpting the face. I've chose a clown because clowns are a good entry to sculpting a character. And part A would focus on the face and part B would focus on the body. So I am here on Nomad Sculpt in an empty scene. I've removed everything. What I would need to is to start building the masses of the face. And in this case, what we need is a sphere. So I've just added a sphere. I also like to turn my wire on and then play a little bit, not to make it very high resolution. So somewhere around four would be okay. And then I can validate the sphere. Also, what I would need to do is to add ears and to do so, I will go for my scene and click on cylinder. Make sure that I'm snapping it to be 90. And once that is done, I can rotate it and it would snap. So this in here allow you to snap the object. Once I'm happy with that, I can squeeze it and make it thinner. And thanks to the new update of Nomad Sculpt, this would automatically allow the mesh to be reworked without the need to do it manually. I will make it smaller and push it all the way to the side. I can also make it a little bit smaller, have a look at the front and it looks good. Now I need to click on mirror to mirror this object and I don't want it to be that much pointy so ears usually would incline toward the back so I can go back here and change this to zero so I can have a free rotating option well I have changed it to 60 but that did the trick anyhow so zero and click on OK and I can try to change it I can also push it a little bit up and I can take it down and push it further in. And that looks like a good place to start modeling the ear. Now also clowns are very well known to, for having this kind of red nose, red piece. And I do that by adding a new sphere, drag it a little bit to front and then make it smaller. And once you're happy with that, I think we have the first basic mesh of, this of the clown ready. I've just validated it and now because we want to do some sculpting, what I would suggest and what we need to do is to voxel merge the main pieces of the face and the ears. And to do so, I would go to scene and in here I have the first sphere which is this one and the cylinder. So I'm selecting both and then I'm unselecting the sphere just to make sure that I'm only merging these. I don't want the voxel merge to be high. So somewhere around 100 would be okay. So if I click 100 and click okay, we have that registered as 99. That's totally fine. Click on voxel merge and now we have a uh, pretty much dense mesh that is ready to be worked. By the way, if you've asked where this fear vanished for the nose, I am turning on this solo mode, which allow any object that is selected to be isolated. It gives me freedom uh, to focus on certain elements. Now I can turn on the wire and just to highlight again, I am in the material cap so if you go to shading, because material cap would be work better to understand the details than PBR. So in here, we are ready now to add details to our clown. First, I would start thinking of the chin. And for the chin, what I would need to do is to use the drag with the symmetry on and start dragging an area here that would resemble a chin. And that looks Okay, now if you want to make it more stylized, you could always 
have a reference in the background, but sometimes I like to work without a reference. Now, for my main sculpting, I would always need a place for the eyeballs to go on, and I like using the clay. You can always choose whether you want the clay to subtract or add by clicking here. And I want now to create the area for the eyes, and the eyes are usually aligned with their with the ear. So what I do, I'll make this a little bit bigger and then draw the eyeball poster if you would like. And now this is working. I would like to add a little bit of a nose. So I'll change this back to add and change the radius to be a little bit smaller. And now the nose would be somewhere in here. I wouldn't give so much details for the nose because it's hidden behind this uh, piece but you could always start with the nose and then probably use the drag tool take a piece here and push it forward so it is actually looking like a nose we can always go back and do a little bit of smoothing and click on the smooth tool and go all the way here because what i don't like about this so far is that we have areas like this and imperfections around the eyes that we need to work. Also, if you focus on the mesh, you can see that there is a kind of rectangles and squares appears. So a smooth, a little bit of a smooth with a symmetry on would get rid of that. Once you have this in place, I want to do a little bit of this eyebrow and forehead and I would use the clay my clay is the favorite brush for me, honestly, and I use it most of the time. So what we have here is a little bit of a forehead. And also what I would need is this cheekbone to be from this area here and take it in there. And you can always, by the way, go back to Gizmo and push it so it is a little bit squeezed. Because I have symmetry on here, the gizmo is not working as I want it to, but if I go back in this direction, you can see now that we have almost a face ready. Now, let's do a little bit of more details for the face. So I will work a little bit more on the nose. I would work a little bit more on the chin and let's give it a little bit of a, a wide chin. And I can work a little bit on the ears. So first of all, I could use the move tool, drag it all the way down. And this is a very small brush, make it a little bit bigger and drag the ear. So it shapes not like an exact uh, cylinder, but more of a human shape. Click on clay and I want this to be added. And usually we have an ear, click again on subtract and we would start having a little bit of a shape for the ear. Well, ears is one of the complex uh, shapes of our human uh, body and you can't really find two people with the exact same ear. So you have a little bit of creativity when it comes to sculpting your ears. Now, almost everything is in place except for the eyes and for the mouth. Now I've clicked the move tool and dragged the eyes down to give it a little bit of sad expression, but I will work on that in a moment. Let's get into the mouth. I would click on scene and for the mouth, you would need to use tube. Well, I've clicked on scene, but you are not here because tube is always in your tray. And I want this tube to be the mouth because I want this kind of like red lip lip that are very thick. Let's start with the path and making sure it is closed and start clicking and dragging point. I don't want to add many points. Six points would be more than enough and I don't want it to be symmetrical so I want the symmetry to be off. But what I can do now is work with the dot. So I added, you start with three dots and I added one by clicking on the line in between and then start dragging them. 
choose the expression that you think works for you. If you want to change one of these angle into to be sharp, you just click on it and then click back on it to have it again as rounded. Once you're happy with that, you can click on the screen and it would turn this into a tube. Now I want to select that tube and I want to get out of the solo mode because I want to push this to be point to be a little bit further and this one as well and probably push these a little bit a little bit to the back and this seems like a very thin lips so I want these to be a little bit bigger if I go to the topology of the tube while I'm working with the tube and then I can go to the radius and change that radius that would do it for me what I've noticed here is that I have two points that I don't want. So I drag one, bring it to this one until it removes it. And once I'm back to that point, I would change it again here to be one point. Well, actually I could add an, another one from here. So click and bring it here and until it actually looks like a mouth. This is a little bit too much. So what I would need to do is to go back and change the radius and I could also bring this point here. So it's just a matter of me thinking which would be best for the mouth as an expression and as a design. And once you're happy with that, you can just validate it in here. Now we need to do a little bit of more work on the mouth and the clown itself what i would do is to smooth this mouth a little bit especially from this area here i could use the move tool move a bit from here and a bit from there and push it further it looks good so far and i think i am happy with how it is looking after all now i need to go to the face and clicking double click on the sphere should work. Also, I can go back and click on it from the scene. I need to make this mouth as part of the face. So I need to do a little bit of work on the sculpting. And in here, I clicked on clay and make sure that I am on add. And I'm adding a little bit of detail. So the mouth is not floating, but mainly integrated. And in here, we have this mouth in place now it is time to add the eyes and then probably add the neck let's start with the eyes for the eyes i would use a sphere and you can always insert sphere from here but i always like to use the one from the scene and if you're wondering where it disappeared i've scaled it down and then i've brought it a little bit to the front i can click on mirror and now you have this in place i just need to bring the sphere into the balls or the eyeballs where we have started them and now that looks good if you're happy with this you can click on validate and now we have the eyes in place now if you want to give this a little bit of an expression you can always go back with the move tool click again on the face and push one side or push two side so the eyes are within the face itself. I mean, it depends on how you want the expression of this clown to be. What I can do now is, because this is a stylized clown, is I can move this back to be a PBR and then I can start painting and adding a little bit of details. Before doing so, let me just add another piece for the eyes, which is the iris. And to do so, I can simply clone my sphere from the scene, bring it a little bit to front. And while symmetry is on, I can scale it down and then I can move it around. And now you can start seeing how this looks like as a clown. If you're happy with this details, then you are good to go. Let's 
start adding some painting and we can finish the face let's add the cylinder before we do so and this cylinder would act as a neck of course you can always make it thicker thinner whatever you would like but let's leave it as it is here and here we have the face now let's do some painting click on the backdrop and in this case on the face and i like to use the forced paint all and i'd like to use the paint that comes with nomad sculpt so this is for the face in here i would like this to be for the mouth and in here i'd like these to be for the eyes of course depend on what eyes you would like your clown to have i would like my clown to have a little bit of a black eyes and usually iris have a little bit of reflection in them so let's turn on roughness and finally for the eyeballs i can always go back to the eyeball here push the roughness down and force paint it i still have the neck to go and in here i could click on force paint and we have the neck in place well there's something not quite right about this clown as you can see which is <clears throat> how this appears in the mouth well we can work it out clay subdivide and then push these a little bit back actually i don't want symmetry on i want symmetry to be off and as you can see here some of these now have started to disappear because this is usually a mouth and the mouth would go inside so if i go here you can see how this is not much changing but give it a moment and it would be clearer the last thing i would do is to subdivide the lips so if i go to my tube and then go to my topology and click subdivide that would take care of these rugged um, corners and now we have the clown i also don't like the nose being inside i would bring it a little bit forward and here we have the face now to make sure that the face looks all right as it is what we need to do is you can always change this to be perspective in here the nose looks a little bit big so i'll make it smaller i can also go to post processing and then turn on the reflection the ambient occlusion and for the ambient occlusion i would turn the curvature bias all the way down the size to be something acceptable and somewhere in here i think that's work fine i'm still unhappy with the way that the mouth looks inside which is in here so let me do a little bit of clay and i can also break this with a little bit of smooth so it's not that sharp i would like it to be sharp in here let's go to ambient occlusion and change the size so it actually makes this area black and then take get out of the solo and now you have the face ready it's a matter of you painting it so you could simply add a layer and for this layer i want it to be a painting layer so if i go to my paint and change my paint from the brush tool here to be a little bit white with no roughness and then start painting how i would like my clown to be maybe push their intensity a little bit down and may give it a little bit of white face because usually this is how clown paint their faces also again for the mouth because it is not that much visible so there's no need for me to do any kind of work on it what i would need to do now is solo it change this to be black take the roughness all the way up and 
change the mouth into total black well you might say but i would like to spend more time on my clown finishing the face that's great you can do that but if you uh, want to finish a clown with less than 20 minutes then you have done it if you have followed me the last thing i would do to make this a little bit clearer is push all the render resolution to high and let's add a light while i'm with you and this light i want to rotate it and i want to change my hdri to something dark and here you have your clown well one thing i would suggest if you're following me you could always add a little bit of noise for the nose using the noise brush and the um, stamp you could also work details for the mouth and you could spend more time perfecting some of the details but as a beginner i think this would be do would do and next week i will focus on a clown buddy i hope you've enjoyed it and see you in the next video bye bye now